Welcome back to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Charlotte Brown, and on today's show, we've been talking all about health and fitness tips for 2017. We're back with Jason, the owner of Vigor Fitness. And um, before the break, we we're talking about some factors to include when creating a healthy lifestyle. And of course, fitness is a big part of that. So let's touch on that first. Um, so somebody makes a choice to, to get more active. Let's look at the different choices of how people can do that. So do you have any tips if people say, you know, I wanna join a gym? What are the things that people should kind of look for and know that it's something that's maybe a good fit for them? Uh, Charlie, that's a good question. You know, it's, it's hard exactly to know what the best fit is going to be. Um, so, you know, I always kind of just think of the most practical things. Is it close? Is it convenient? Can you actually physically get there on a regular basis? Or is it just one more complication in your life that you're gonna, you know, if more and more obstacles are gonna get put in front of you. So maybe your choice has to be to either to, to start at home or um, to, to start in a location that's close. So th there's lots of those types of factors to consider. That, that for me personally, um, that's one of the things, is it convenient? Right? Right. Is it convenient for you to get there on a regular basis? Absolutely, and if somebody says, you know, I'm kind of even say scared to walk into a gym and know, you know, how to use the things and all that kind of stuff. Is an orientation something that's usually standard at gyms that, you know, they'll show you how to use the equipment and, and all those kind of things. Is that something that's normally standard or? You know, I, th I think it really depends on where you go. Mm -hmm. um, there are, I mean, you can go to, to gyms where there's miles and miles of equipment and I, I don't even know how to work some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, 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 it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and so, the best approach is to maybe to get someone to, to give you a tour, I suppose, uh, or to, to hire a professional to, to uh, figure out what's going to be best for you. But I, I think that most of, the, most of the gyms in town, I know for sure that the complex does a really good job of giving orientations, and I'm sure that the athletic club probably does too. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure that that's available. Right. Absolutely. And how about um, hiring a personal trainer? So you had mentioned, you know, um, uh, maybe getting a professional to show you how to use the equipment, maybe even tailor making a program and stuff uh, for you. Is there pros and cons of kind of uh, hiring a trainer? And what are things people should look for when they are hiring a trainer? Uh, and again, another good question. I think that uh, personality goes a long way in terms of, of finding the right fit. Obviously, a person has to find someone that they're comfortable with. Uh, more importantly, a person has to find someone who's going to listen to them and give them an assessment and design a program specifically for them and for their goals. And then uh, on top of all of that, design an approach that is safe. Uh, lots of people have lots of different challenges in terms of uh, things they do on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of sitting, their posture, uh, existing injuries, conditions. So you have to make sure that whoever helps you, uh, they do a good thorough check and know you well enough to be able to, to figure out what, um, what a safe approach is. Absolutely. And, and in terms of any of that, uh, th that's really their job. That they have to find out and make sure that they can safely put you through a workout. Absolutely. And so you've mentioned um, injuries. Now, lots of times that's what holds people back, you know, like they say, you know, I've already got a bad back or I've got a bad knee. I can't do this or I can't do that. But that's when it is a good idea maybe to have somebody that works with you that can help you make those um, conditions better as opposed to worse. Yeah. The, you know, we as trainers, you never want to kind of uh, pretend that you're somehow a physiotherapist and you don't want to, but you have to work hand in hand with physiotherapists or chiropractors, uh, their Im implementation of a good plan, um, they, still need their they still need their clients and the patients to get stronger mm -hmm. and to be able to maintain. So whether or not a, a person has an issue with some type of uh, a joint problem or arthritis or postural issues, uh, you know, you, there's lots of different ways and, and, and lots of things we've learned in the last 10 or 15 years about corrective exercises, about mobility and stability. And a lot of times, it's, it's, a, it's a quick fix in terms of just a couple of workouts, people will start to feel that uh, you know, they're, they're moving better, right? Mm -hmm. And so we wanna get people moving, the quality of their movement has to improve. Right. right. And uh, how about um, if people are wanting um, the convenience of just having a workout at home? So any tips with setting up a home gym? Well, my experience has been that people who do really, who have a lot of success with home gyms are generally people 
typically who are, adv who are advanced and have been working out for a long time. I find more and more that those are the people who have the most success with home workouts. Um, now, the thing is you don't have to break the bank in terms of setting up a home gym, but uh, you also don't want to be jumping around, hurting yourself, doing lots of crazy stuff. So uh, again, if you're going to set up a program at home, there's tons of free stuff on the internet where you can do some research and, and try to find a plan that's good. Because obviously if you can do it in the convenience of your home, that's great. Right. And there's things that don't take up a lot of space. So sometimes people think like, oh, if I set up a gym, like I'm going to have to get weight sets and whatever. But there's things like resistance bands mm -hmm. and uh, different uh, things like that that you can use not just in your home, but also to travel with so you can keep up with your workouts. Yeah, you don't have to... Obviously, resistance training is going to, any type of resistance training, or whether that's weight training or body weight training uh, or resistance bands or uh, a TRX or suspension training, kettlebells, there's tons of stuff that is pretty fairly portable that you can use at home. And it, it's, it, your, your muscles don't care whether or not it's a machine, whether it's weight. As long as it's getting, they're getting overloaded or they're getting worked, they're going to respond accordingly. Yeah, and how big of a resource now is the internet? Like, um, for in terms of getting information, in terms of getting programs, you know, is that um, a good resource for people? Well, it, you know, it's a double-edged sword. Uh, everyone who's on Facebook or everyone or on Instagram, or er, everyone is suddenly an expert on everything on the internet. Uh, fitness is not. Fitness is certainly included in that. Um, so, you have to be very careful about the kind of resources you get. Um, uh, but just check around if, if, if it, uh, you know, common sense goes a long way in finding something that has a good plan. Um, and, and again, talk to people who you know who exercise already. And they can also be a good resource or sort of in that lifestyle, as, as it were. Yeah, absolutely. And I think a big one, like you had mentioned, is to have, you know, a fitness partner or a buddy. Is that accountability, somebody to maybe do it with you? It might be the most important thing. It might be the most important thing if you, if if because uh, hopefully it's going to up the idea of of enjoying it all right and if it's by appointment some people work best like that I, there's no not really any simple answers because if we can figure that one out geez we'll we'll you know we'll be millionaires it's it's it uh there's lots of factors that are going to weigh into it but a good supportive environment fun I mean, those are the most important things. Absolutely. Well, we are going to take another quick break, and we're going to be right back with Jason and talk more about health and fitness goals for 2017.